Hi everyone, Terry here. This is a, um, not a train video, sorry guys. This is another ASMR video, which I did promise those other ASMR artists. Going tingles, 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 tingles. And this is a story video for Seafoam Kitten ASMR, which is a, she's, a, she's from Canada. It's a story of Airwolf, the trigger words, Airwolf, 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 <laughs> I like that, I'd like to say thanks, I know, uh, you know your name is Nora, but I'm going to call you Seafoam because you're, that's see, that name suits you, so here's a story for you, that I made up myself, but I'm, um, I haven't got time to write, I didn't have time to write it, so here is the story for you. In Canada, Seafoam was selling pickles and they were well grown and good to make pickle sandwiches mixed it with chutney. But some people did not like pickles and they think they were disgusting. One person in particular was from a business association who did not like pickles at all. He, did, he thinks they were poisonous to society. This made Seafoam upset. And to make matters worse, the, the businessman cut down the pickle trees and burnt them. Seafoam was terrified. He said if... He catches her selling any more pickles for sandwiches. He will, she will be next. And he also said, if you try and call the cops, I will also find you and blow your house down with my own helicopter. Seafoam was dreadfully upset until she thought of someone who owned. When, he, when the man mentioned a helicopter, she knew, she knew what type of helicopter, and she thought of Terry, her YouTuber friend, who's a good, friendly, kind heart person, and always goes on airwolf missions when he always does for the government. She made a call to Terry, who was in the UK making paperwork from his last airwolf mission and she said terry i need your help can you bring your famous machine to canada and i went and terry went of course seafoam what's the matter some businessman is messing up my marketing of pickles I went, oh, that's not nice. Why would he do that? Terry asked. She said, because the man doesn't like pickles, and he said they were disgusting to society. Terry went, oh, that is nasty. And what made matters worse, said Seafoam, he said he would kill me and hunt me down with his helicopter. Even though I don't like helicopters, but I need your one, Terry. Your one that's called Airwolf, or sometimes you nickname it the Lady. Terry said, Don't worry, I'm on my way. Terry jumped into Airwolf, turned on the engines, and took off for Canada. He made several fuels, he made a, mi a refuel stop in Iceland, avoiding the volcanoes that were mostly active. Then Terry made another fuel stop in New York City and then headed over to Canada. The Canadian Air Force did not like unwanted territory and unwanted guests in their territory, even in their airspace. Two jets were vectoring on Airwolf as, as Terry was flying over the Canadian border. They said, Unidentified black helicopter, identify yourself at once. Or you'll be shot down and destroyed with the, in millions of pieces. I said, Air Force, this is, 
Canadian Air Force. This is Airwolf. I'm Trent. I'm here on an urgent call from Seafoam. Then the one of the Air Force pilots says, Seafoam? You mean Seafoam can ASMR? That's my daughter you're talking about. Uh, sorry, Seafoam, if I'm pretending that uh, he, someone knows you from the. Uh, ignore that bit, Seafoam. Ignore that bit. Seafoam ASMR kitten? I know her. My son knows her. Hang on, I'll let you pass. She asked for help? Follow me to my landing zone at my airfield. Oh, you can tell me more. Terry called Seafoam on Airwolf's radio and asked her to meet her at the airfield. Meet him at the airfield. Seafoam grabbed her coat and gear and headed off to the airfield and saw Airwolf touch down. Terry got out of the cockpit, gave Seafoam a hug, and she said, Thank God you're here, Terry. I need your help. I said, What would you like me to do? The Air Force pilot, who almost tried to shoot Airwolf down, he said, This is the Airwolf you've been talking about, Seafoam? And... Seafoam says, yes, that's the airwolf I've been say mentioning to everyone on YouTube. And anyway, well, welcome to Canada. The pilot says, welcome to Canada. Welcome to Canada. Welcome. I'm glad to have your helicopter here. Um, I say, I wouldn't mind a good one-on-one -on -one challenge. I took on many pilots, my friend. I took on many. I shut them all down. Didn't want to shoot an air. I don't. I, I, want, I don't fire on friendlies unless I have to sh disable their plane. I have to. Fair enough, the pilot said. Now, what's this all about? That nasty businessman that was nasty to see them. Terry mentioned. I've read him, Jack Cusack. He was wanted in. He was wanted by the CIA and MI6 for Ill illegal transporting business materials in into the United States and Canada. Uh, Jack Cusack was wanted by the FBI, the National Security Council. They even want him dead or alive. He even owns a a, a a Hugh H1 Huey helicopter, and it can be turned into a gunship. <clears throat> Seafoam said, "Car, I never thought I'd met the guy. Me selling pickles. That was really. I said, oh, I made you a pickle sandwich. Pickle sandwich with um cheese, Terry. Oh, thank you." Terry eat a sandwich. Mmm, delicious. You sell good pickles. Here, yeah. is is ten dollars. Now make that twenty dollars. I'll give you. Remember, Seafoam. This is only a story, not actual real life. So remember that. Seafoam took Terry back to her house. And also, no love making involved. Remember that. YouTube doesn't allow it. So, <clears throat> Terry used Seafoam's computer to get everything he knows on Cusack. And then he found his location place and took Seafoam and asked her, I know you don't like helicopter Seafoam, but would you like to come for a ride in, in Airwolf? She said, No, I don't mind. So, her and Terry raced over to Airwolf, jumped into the cockpit, Terry turned on the engine, both Terry and Stephen put on the helmets, and off they went. They took off into the sky. The Air Force guy, who almost tried to shoot down Airwolf, said, Don't worry, Terry, we'll be in the area when, when you need us. You have clear path, you have a clear airspace. 
Thanks, Air Force One. Thanks, Alpha One. That was the radio channel that the jet was on. Jet channel was on. Alpha One. Roger that, Alpha One. I'll need. I'll radio in when I need you. Airwolf out. Terry showed off Airwolf's moves to Seafoam. She could not believe how fast this helicopter really was. Half jet, half helicopter. It was amazing. And, I sa and Terry said, It's very be important that you keep Airwolf as top secret Seafoam. She is a top secret helicopter and I cannot re reveal any details. She's needed for nationals and interests. I also work for the CIA and MI6. So you must know <clears throat> that Airwolf needs to be top secret. Seafoam understood. And she looked at all the Airwolf systems. Com missiles, chain guns, and sunburst decoys. And jamming systems and defense systems. She said, wow, this is one tough machine. Yeah. We're coming up on Cusack. There he is. Just then Cusack saw Airwolf and he went, Oh no, I'm in deep trouble now. He jumped into his helicopter and took off. Terry said, Hang on Seafoam, this could be a bit bumpy. Terry used the turbos to go after him as, the hel as his helicopter took off. Terry radioed to Cusack on his radio channel. Cusack? Give it up now. You're under arrest. Stand down immediately or I will destroy you. He said old oh, words for someone in my crosshairs. I may be now, but I won't be for long. Terry took Air flew Airwolf into a canyon and to hide from the UH-1. He said, oh, and Cusack said, Oh, do I like a good game of hide and seek? Seafoam watched as Terry handled Airwolf's controls like a proper combat pilot, flying low under the radar. <clears throat> then Terry used all of his combat techniques and put Airwolf into combat mode. And this will be a memory that Airwolf will remember for the rest of her life. Terry did a 360 degree loop in the air and as the UH-1 started shooting Airwolf, Terry shot the UH-1 down with one rocket. But then Cusack bailed out, parachuted down to the ground where the, poli where the local police, the Canadian PD, were waiting for him. They've arrested him. The FBI were there too. They said, so many things we come across, Terry, and you have to just be right in the middle of it. I said, well, Commander, Terry said, well, Commander, I'm always getting involved in things, solving problems that no one else can help. He said, we've been after Cusack for years. Now you've caught him with the lady herself. I said, well, best leave him in your hands, Commander. I only gift wrap. I don't deliver. Then Terry took Seafoam home in Airwolf. Landed it at the same airfield for refueling. She said, Thank you, Terry. Now I can get back to selling pickles. That's all right, see. That's all right, see, phone. She said, Please call me Nora. You know me that much. I went, No, no. See, phone suits you. That name suits you best. And I said, Anytime you need me in Airwolf. Give me a call. Maybe if you have any problems, let the FBI know and ask for Airwolf. Okay? They'll ask for me and I'll bring her over. Even though you don't like helicopters, but Airwolf is a special one. Seafoam understood. She wasn't afraid of flying in helicopters anymore. She didn't find helicopters scary anymore, as they are known as birds in the sky. Terry took off for England, with Alpha-1 escorting him out, out of the area. 
Terry was halfway across Canada. Well, Terry, this is where we part ways. Roger, Alpha One. Thanks for the escort. Feel free to come back any day, Air Wolf. Will do. Terry turboed his way out of Canada and back across the Atlantic towards a mid air refueling tank for him to do a mid air refuel then back to England. Then later that night he called Seafoam on his on his communicator on his laptop saying Hey Seafoam, I'm back home now And she said Well done Terry I'm not afraid of flying in helicopters anymore your one is very special. And I said to her, and Terry said, It's best to keep, as I said before, Seafone, you must keep Airwolf top secret. She's a top secret helicopter with capabilities to shoot down any aircraft. She said, I understand. Good night, she said. And that's the end. The end. Well, Seafone, I hope you've enjoyed that story. Uh, that one's for you, and this is good job, 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 good job. See, see, and see, that wasn't so bad, was it? Tapping, yeah, scratching. There you go. Go, go now. Bye for now.